the scene. I really appreciate him. Great comedian, great friend. So start clapping, start clapping, make some noise. Make some noise for Robert Schneider! I just met Yannick 10 minutes here. <laughs> Can I admit something about myself? Can I tell you guys a secret? I'm not afraid of getting abducted by aliens <laughs> and getting anally probed. I'm afraid of getting abducted by aliens and them saying, Let's just be friends. <laughs> I am single. But y'all saw that plot twist coming. <laughs> but last night, I got lucky. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was crazy. In the heat of the moment, she started moaning things I have never heard another human being moan before. She started moaning, all hell works <laughs> In exchange for power and immortality, I'll transfer this fool's soul from me to you, thus binding him as your slave for all eternity. <laughs> I thought that was strange. <laughs> because I already sold my soul to Satan in exchange for having sex with her. <laughs> Speaking of Satan, I recently found out that I went to the same high school as Larry Nasser. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know who he is, he was the doctor for the Michigan State female gymnastics team who did horrible things to them. I was very happy when he got arrested and incarcerated because I finally moved up one notch on the North Farmington High School's most successful alumni. <laughs> a lot of people work their asses off to get on that list. I just wait for them to fuck up. <laughs> and a lot of alumni at my school has done just that. We had five uh, January Sixers, one mass shooter, one person who appeared on To Catch a Predator, and the star of the movie Showgirls. I just need 75 more people to fuck up and I'll finally crack the top 100. I did have a rough couple weeks. I put my cat to sleep. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yesterday I got a card in the mail from my vet that said, Dear Robert, we here at Eagle, on, on, at Eagle Animal Hospital are very... Uh, I want to offer our condolences, but we want to tell you that your cat is now in a much better place. A lush green field located to the left of heaven. There he'll play and frolic to his heart's content day in, day out. But for the day he sees you walk down the hill. For in that day he'll stop whatever he's doing, run over to you, jump into your arms like your face. And then the two of you will cross over into heaven. I thought that was sweet. <laughs> that my vet thinks I'm going to get into heaven. <laughs> I recently had to tell my best friend that his daughter is doing porn. Yeah. Yeah. At first he did not believe me, but after I showed him... <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh. <laughs> But after I showed him our clips on Pornhub and her OnlyFans page, things got really awkward. He started crying and attempted to punch a hole in my wall. As he was doing that, all I could think was, man, I'd probably react the same way if I discovered my 18-year-old daughter was making way more money than me. <laughs> So who here's been cheated on? Yeah. Who did who did, who did your partner cheat on you with? Just another blonde woman. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I got cheated on was with my girlfriend in college, and she ended up having sex with one of the worst human beings who has ever walked this planet. The prop comedian Carrot Top. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was telling this joke last night and someone rudely interrupted me and said, Robert, 
he can't be worse than Hitler. I was like, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hitler's done a lot of bad things. He's killed millions of my people. He started a world war. He inspired Trump. <laughs> but the one thing he's never done, or never did, was fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get out of here on this one. I'm an avid reader, and I've actually memorized my favorite book of all time, the Judy Bloom classic. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. By a round of applause, who's read it before? Do you have it? You're in for a treat. I am going to recite it to you in its entirety. Starting now. <clears throat> Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. A novel by Judy Bloom. Published 1970, Simon and Schuster. This book is dedicated to her mother. Page one, chapter one. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Followed by 225 pages of silence. For those of you not laughing, that's my atheist joke. <laughs> my name is Robert Schneider. Thank you.